Thousands of years of labor and intellectual effort have brought mankind to an impressive level of development. Today, we possess technologies that would have seemed to our ancestors like magic, comparable to divine powers. We have mastered atomic energy, made space flights, and begun to explore the surface of other planets. But looking at the night sky, studded with countless stars and planets, we begin to think about possible advanced civilizations, mysteriously hidden in the vastness of the universe. How advanced are these civilizations? Can they effortlessly control the energy of an entire planet or even their own star? Can they manipulate the structures of space and time? Let's go on a fascinating journey together and unravel the secrets of these civilizations. The outstanding Soviet astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev proposed a scale for classifying technological civilizations based on their level of energy usage. The central principle of the Kardashev scale is the relationship between technological progress and the energy capabilities of a civilization. The more advanced the technology, the more energy a civilization is capable of consuming and producing, creating a closed loop of interaction. This cycle of development can continue indefinitely, stimulating the search for new energy sources and the advancement of cutting-edge technologies. In 1964, in a scientific work titled Transmission of Information by Extraterrestrial Civilizations, Kardashev described three types of cosmic civilizations, distinguished by the amount of energy they create and consume. Humanity, as a civilization, is likely just at the beginning of its journey on the Kardashev scale, utilizing only a fraction of the energy potential of its home planet. This fact is supported by estimates from the prominent astronomer and science popularizer Carl Sagan, who assessed the level of human civilization on the Kardashev scale as approximately 0.72. According to Sagan's calculations, humanity consumes only 0.17% of the total energy potential of Earth. This indicates that we are just starting to tap into the resources and possibilities of our planet. The range of Class Zero civilizations is vast, from bacteria utilizing a tiny percentage of energy from geothermal sources to civilizations that use significantly more energy and are more advanced than humanity. We have taken the initial technological steps towards Type 1 civilizations. We already have ideas on how to harness large volumes of Earth's energy, from ambitious concepts like installing massive orbital solar panels to tapping into substantial geothermal sources. We have an approximate understanding of how to access a significant portion of Earth's available energy. Looking into the future, according to scientists' estimates, humanity may reach the first level within the next 1,000 years. The transition to a Type 1 civilization represents a decisive moment in human history. Earth's limited resources force us to consider two key alternatives – either to use the planet's resources and energy efficiently, or to explore space in search of new opportunities. A civilization of this type is not only able to efficiently use the resources of its planet, but also to control the energy flows of its star. Perhaps we could completely control the Earth, influence the weather, control volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. A civilization of the first type is not limited to a single planet, but is present on several planets and moons within its solar system. This civilization is likely to establish a unified government that encompasses all planets, enabling interplanetary trade, research, and cooperation. Energy management at this level requires not only technical genius, but also an ethical view of the use of power to avoid possible negative consequences. However, a civilization of this type is intimately connected to the sun, solely dependent on it to maintain its functioning. At the moment the life cycle of the sun is completed, there is a risk of the elimination of this civilization. 
Reaching the second level of development is challenging, but once achieved, the chances of survival increase exponentially. Such a society knows how to utilize resources not only within its own system, but also from the surrounding stars. The native star becomes a source of opportunity rather than a threat. Any changes in its state can be harnessed for the benefit of the civilization. For instance, the well-known Dyson Sphere involves constructing a structure around the sun to fully harness its energy. A civilization at this level possesses incredible technological power. It could manipulate the energy of its star, control its activity, create artificial planets, and perhaps even influence celestial objects within its galaxy. Interstellar travel might also become more commonplace for this type of civilization. Moreover, a Type II civilization could use immense power for calculations and information processing, including simulating the universe or creating artificial life forms. According to Kardashev, this form of civilization is highly advanced, nearly approaching the divine. The only civilization capable of surpassing this level is a Type III civilization. On the scale of the universe, their number must be exceedingly small. The probability of surviving to the third stage is low. However, if achieved, there is little that can destroy such a civilization. It is assumed that their number cannot exceed a few hundred within the observable cosmos. Their key characteristic lies in their ability to manipulate the energy of an entire galaxy. This energy serves as a unique tool for them, enabling a variety of actions creating planets and stars, utilizing the energy of extreme objects such as neutron stars and supernovae. Imagine how powerful such a civilization would become. They can move at speeds surpassing that of light, manipulate gravity and electromagnetic fields, traverse a galaxy in mere hours or days using technologies unknown to us. It is hypothesized that reaching this level requires the collaboration of multiple Type II civilizations, as it would be beyond the capability of a single one. Currently, there are no signs of the existence of such a civilization. This may be because such highly advanced civilizations might not exist, or perhaps they develop so rapidly using advanced technologies that they remain invisible to our observational detection methods. In the original scale proposed by Nikolai Kardashev, there were only three levels of civilization. He believed that the energy available throughout the galaxy could satisfy the needs of any form of life. However, other scientists have gone further and updated the scale, presenting possibilities for civilizations far beyond the third level. A Type IV civilization not only has the ability to maneuver between stars, but also to prevent collisions between its native galaxy and neighboring ones. The energy requirements of this civilization are so immense that it becomes routine to harness energy extracted from quasars and supermassive black holes. This is not just a supergalactic society, it is an entity capable of freely traveling throughout the entire universe and absorbing energy from every galaxy it interacts with. Imagine a universe transformed into a vast utopia where every aspect is controlled by this super-civilization. A Type V civilization will outgrow its own universe. It encompasses countless parallel universes and has the ability to manipulate the very structure of reality. If the multiverse theory is accurate, infinite energy can be extracted from a countless number of parallel worlds. All the resources of the cosmos will be at the disposal of these entities. They will be able to alter physical constants for their needs, learn to traverse any distances. If this level of development is achieved, nothing will be able to destroy such a society for trillions of years. The last type, Type VI, also called the Omega Civilization, could achieve true immortality. 
These beings exist outside of space and time, possessing the ability to create and destroy not only individual universes, but even multiverses. In other words, they are abstract entities inhabiting every world and every time, everywhere and nowhere, always and never, super-universal minds. If the assumption is correct and such a civilization really exists, then with 100% probability, it is responsible for the formation of our universe, and therefore, for our existence. Back in 2015, a group of astronomers processed a list of 100,000 objects and compiled a roster of several hundred galaxies, exhibiting unusually high levels of radiation in the mid-infrared spectrum. It was speculated that these galaxies could be home to advanced civilizations. When researchers examined 50 galaxies from the list not only in the infrared spectrum but also in other radio frequencies, it was found that in the absolute majority of cases, the high level of infrared radiation was explained by natural astrophysical processes. Studies in the search for civilizations typically focus on analyzing star systems and searching for anomalies that could indicate the presence of advanced technologies. However, at present, there is no compelling evidence of the existence of civilizations of any type, and many known anomalies in star systems are usually explained by natural astrophysical processes. Thus, the search for civilizations remains an active but as yet unsuccessful area of research. Humanity is just beginning its journey on the Kardashev scale. In the next few centuries, we may reach a Type 1 civilization, provided we manage to avoid any extinction-level events. It is assumed that, without facing threats such as asteroid collisions or catastrophic climate changes, and by avoiding disasters, famine, and epidemics, we will have a chance to ascend the Kardashev ladder. Upon reaching a Type 1 civilization, new challenges and prospects will emerge. Societal restructuring will be inevitable to adapt to a multi-planetary way of life. Opportunities for exploration will unfold, starting from our own solar system, then extending to neighboring stars, and perhaps even the entire galaxy if all goes according to plan. If, like us, you are fascinated by the mysteries of space, don't forget to support our channel. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new captivating stories about space.